Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, hey Askus. So, updating. Okay, it can update later. Uh, there. Oh yes, let me see. Let's put this here. Adventure. Hello. Stop that music. Loading, loading. I don't know what we did last time, but we will see. maybe we put in the ammunition box that 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 shotgun I don't need shotgun Maybe we craft some more. Just to be sure. Then um, I don't know how long the story is going. I have the feeling this game is half done. I think the, the, the last thing what I have to do is uh, planning some attacks, but uh, I don't know. A good hacker. Maybe I found everyone. I don't know. We will see. Oh, I can sleep. Then we go sleep. Or maybe. What can I do for you, Professor? Maybe we can train something. Hi, Olga. Fantastic. I'm ready. To no jokes, over. Okay, two more slots in the inventory. All right. 
right, here we go again. Time for the next lesson. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. He tells me how to pack my well backpack. Done, Yor, but don't get cocky. You still need practice. Lots of practice. Okay. That we have simulated, that we also have simulated. We know that the Black Stalker is, is Boris, a friend from earlier. Oh, I have to go to sleep. So maybe I'm near to the end, yes. But I don't know. I will do the mission, the main mission. Maybe then it's progress. Igor, Igor, I've got to talk to you. Some serious shit is about to go down. What is it this time? One of the big fish is flying into Kapachi. We have a chance to intercept him. We have to act on this intel now. Hmm. Who is this big fish anyway? No idea, but it's got to be one of NAR's top people. A real 100,000 ruble suit type. <laughs> That's not much to go on. Could just be a waste of time. It is 100% worth a shot. Imagine what kind of intel we can squeeze out of this guy. Just go over there and check it out for yourself, okay? I know a good vantage point. All right, but let's make one thing clear first. I'll do the talking. I've got a feeling this big fish might not survive your squeezing. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, boss. I'll mark the location on your map. So now I have a side quest again. The red market are uh, some story quests. The rest uh, medical supplies, medical supplies, medical supplies and stay in the base. Hmm. This mission you this mission you this mission Olivier hmm. So then we do this mission here the big fish I guess. We will see. Nothing is ever as it seems with Mikhail, is it? <laughs> what is he dragging you into this time? The NAR fish tank is a very murky and dirty place. Can you really tell the difference between a big fish and a bottom feeder when you meet them? I don't care, I can kill everyone. Let's look at the map. We have one question mark here. I guess we go here first. Oh shit, there are enemies. Don't need this company, so we go around them. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Hmm. 
and what? Why we have radiation there? That was not so healthy. Need some sanity vodka. Okay. Okay, it was a monster. Somehow. Okay, this is not a... Внимание, внимание. Hmm. Okay. I can kill a lot of guys. But we don't want it. Something was here. We only do the Rambo way when it's needed. I'm in position. How is this a good vantage point? No tower, no hill? Uh, right. Uh, you won't need a tower. There should be a control unit nearby. Find it and power it up. Oh yes, I found it. What's that? Oh, it's resting. It. What is this thing? Mikhail, what are you not telling me? And where is this big fish? He'll be flying over in a helicopter pretty soon. All you need to do is fire up the missile defense system. The rest is automated. Pretty fucking awesome, right? It's old Soviet technology. I found it totally by chance. Don't tell me that's not a great <laughs> fucking plan. What? You want me to shoot down a helicopter? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Oh, contraire, mon frere. It's the perfectly rational thing to do. Cut off as many of the Hydra's heads as you can! This is insane, Igor. You've no idea who's on board. I know we want to take down NAR, but blowing unidentified targets out of the sky is a war crime. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> this is fucking crazy. I am not going to shoot without knowing for certain who's on board that helicopter. It could be women and children for all we know. You gotta get your head straight, pal. Everyone here, everyone in that chopper, they're all NAR volunteers. Every one of them deserves to die for what they did to me and my friends! I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm not going to do it. It's over, Mikhail. You couldn't pull the trigger, huh? I knew it. Don't send a fucking pussy to do it. Oh, fuck! Accept it and move on. That's not how we do things around here. You think you can tell me how we do things? My best buddies were slaughtered by these assholes. They tortured us. They clamped electrodes on my fucking nipples. Can you imagine what that's like, huh? Calm down, Mikhail. I want to get them as much as you, but not like this. I'm not going to fucking calm down. You robbed me of my revenge. You think you're something special, fucking egghead. Really, you're just a common thief. You are a major fucking disappointment, Igor. Mikael is offended, but... Yeah. Olivier is my friend and Mikael not anymore. <laughs> but somebody... Somebody is always losing. And you have the choice. Something to loot here? Nothing. That was this map. Let's say that was a short mission. Ducks. Hello, what welcome. the hell was that? I don't have time for cowards and pussies, which is what you are. Piss off. Hmm. I know we have our differences. But you really ought to stay. I need you here. Damn right you do. Don't you ever forget that. Okay, and we want food. Then hmm. can we craft some other new things? Not really.
more damage, yes, please. It sounds good. Let's take that. Or yes. Okay. This world is doomed, man. Dial it down or not. I can see us all in the devilish cloud. The green swarm is sp the red. So you tell me, do you fix it? You're talking about Chernobyl, <laughs> I'm not sure I've... What? Back since the dawn of who knows. Yes. You already this had this conversation. Hey there, Tar But of course I can get... That? Oh, I need two points for that, okay? Actually, I can't do it. I only have one point and I need two. Oh, next day. Okay, let's try to make the main mission. Wow, it's great to see you, Igor. Mm. I've got a fan fucking spastic plan that you need to hear. <laughs> yeah, right, of course. Mikhail again. Sounds fan fucking exciting. Stop bitching and be grateful there's someone here to do the thinking when you're not around. Anyway, listen up. I think the time has come to kill off the biggest knobber of them all. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Who's on your shit list today? Drum roll, please! Da -la 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 -la. General Kozlov, the single biggest NAR twat of them all. Mm -hmm. Time to end his miserable life, pay back for what he did to my friends, and for his other shameful deeds, of course. Can't forget that. <laughs> You've got friends? That's new. Yeah, very funny. This fucker and his cronies iced my boys. Don't you ever joke about that. You fucking hear me? His lapdogs captured us, tortured us. I got lucky. They just beat the ever loving shit out of me and left me to die. What happened? You never wanted to talk about it before. Having electrodes clipped your dong is not something you want to relive with casual acquaintances. The five of us set up this warehouse together. It was me, Zena, Yuri, Ludmila, and Igor. Like yourself, we were the fucking Pripyat Five. Respected businessmen. And women. We provided, uh, essential goods and services for those who needed them. When NAR showed up, we tried to negotiate with them, but to this decrepit 20th century Kami Kozlov, we were just a bunch of hippie anarchists and drug dealers. Anyway, a perfect opportunity to exact revenge on this cocksucker's approaching. He's gonna give some kind of motivational speech to his private army of knobbers outside in Lenin Square. 
This sounds like a real opportunity. Taking Kolsov out is the only way to stop him from interfering with our plans. And to make him pay for his crimes, obviously. As much as I admire clean work, shooting him like a lame deer would be a mistake. We should make him talk first, learn everything we can so we can better prepare for our heist. Passwords, codes, guard routines. After we have what we need, then we off him. We are going to pull the Rat King's teeth one by one. Kozlov is one of his shiniest bangs and sharpest. But we should question him first. Killing him straight away would waste all the work we put into exposing his big plans, and the end of the world, and all that! Okay, I cannot read this fast. Okay, we, we take him, we don't kill him. We need Kozlov alive. I'm open to suggestions. I can definitely help with that. The actual camp is located in Energetic, the former palace of culture. There are two ways in. The main entrance is probably guarded, of course, but they only post two guards at the side door. You know the place, right? Yeah, I lived here a long time ago, but some of the details are fuzzy. It's not complicated. Those NAR fuckers just walked in and make themselves at home. The front entrance is a no-go. But the side door will be a breeze. The guard detail is very light. Insultingly so. And that's where you come in, or go in, or whatever. Kaslov digs are on the top floor. Once you get inside, it shouldn't be hard for a man of your talents to slip past the guards. Security is a bit of a joke, like every fascist you ever met. They got cocky. They're not expecting anyone to snoop around. And remember, most of them will be distracted by Kozlov's speech. Maybe he'll even put them to sleep for us. This is a great opportunity, Mousy. The Rat King's minion will be vulnerable, alone, just waiting for you. The time has come to instill the fear of the great rat catcher in their black and shriveled hearts. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm ready to talk to Kosloff. Will you be? You don't have an opinion? Okay. Every time some other mission comes around. You make this mission and Olivier make this mission. You make this mission and I do this mission. Let's see. <laughs> Koslov, the most hated man in the zone. He's ruthless, but hardly a mastermind. Despite his civilized appearance, he may just be a mad dog, unleashed by the NAR. Still, you could probably learn a lot from him. He could be your ticket into the power plant. Loading, loading faster. Volodya. Bad news, Igor. What's going on? Kozlov is about to leave the NAR encampment. Very convenient timing, isn't it? Convenient indeed. So, change of plans? Go to Hotel Policia, top floor. You'll have a great vantage point from up there. It will allow you to pinpoint Kozlov. Hello, noble citizen. Sounds a good. special discount for helping me rebuild Excellent. civilization. We should pursue this plan. 
This will bring us closer to defeating the Rat King. You're one psycho geezer, Terracan. But I like you because you love to stir shit up. Working with you is a real pleasure. You may be far from divine enlightenment, Sashko. But your heart is in the right place. Isn't it pretty dangerous to work out here? Of course it is. You've got to take risks if you want to achieve anything worthwhile. As much as I hate to admit it, I have to deal with these NAR scumbags. But only in the name of commerce. They bring me canned meat, I trade goods, you know how it is. You trade with the NAR? Oh, well, that seems, well, fucked up. Well, as the Romans said, de minimis non curat praetor. Interesting. And what did the Romans mean by that? Great men can't concern themselves with trifles such as this. Morals are for commoners. Men are vision, know that sometimes it's necessary to make pacts with the devil. Well, looks like you have it all figured out then, huh? Take care of yourself. I don't need anything. Of course, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Way too much people. Holy shit. What the fuck am I doing here, huh? So many people.
All work and no play makes Vladimir a dull boy. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can see me. Rebecca, hello. How's it going? Okay. I better use the stairs. Day is okay. How's your day? Somebody who should.
I'm on the top floor. And I found some binoculars. Good. Luck famous bold mouses like yourself. I see him. General Kozlov in the flesh. The chief rat. Now listen closely, Mousy. His living quarters are in the building on your right. Top floor. The time for action is now. Gather your courage and go, Mousy. Uh, what about a little help? Perhaps some kind of diversion? Yes. Luring the other predators away is always a good idea. Use the generator to power up the ferris wheel. Its lights will attract them like moths. Like moths? That might work for a minute or two, but it won't last. Do you have a better idea? I might. Shut down the generator instead, and they'll be blind. Then you'll have no problem sneaking past the guards and getting to your target. Okay. Generator. Hmm, this comes early. This storm. But this guy is alone. Was alone, damn it. Vincent Gold, free money time. Yeah, please. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, no. Why I cannot take it? Okay. Interesting. Oh shit. Oh shit.
So we have to take out some generator. Okay. Okay, where are the generators? That's a wrong. Mm, very, very good. Marvelous, wonderful. Mutter, welcome. Thanks for the follow. This is by far the hardest mission. So many enemies. Max Mason, hello, welcome. Let's see. Very, very good. Marvelous. Wonderful. Thanks for the follow, Max. So many people here. And when I press fire and shoot then I may attract some other guy. Oh dang, oh dang. Chess. Hello.
That was not so smart. Okay, I'm at the generator. Uh, what's that? Game crash? What? Encountered a critical error and was stopped. Hmm. Sent this crash. Yes, we sent this crash. Report. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> Koslov, the of most course. hated man in the zone. He's ruthless. Of course. I have to do the wool level again. Seriously. Hello, Mr. Mr. Koslov. Don't even think about reaching for that sidearm, General Koslov. This conversation is not going to go the way you think. Really? And here I thought you were a civilized man, a gentleman and a scholar. Was I wrong? Regardless, my men are waiting outside the building. You're trapped. I will be very interested to see how you handle this situation. Come on. He's just trying to weasel his way out of it. Kill him now. Don't let him get in your head. I'm sorry, General. I'm not that kind of person. But you leave me no choice. Wait. You're making a huge mistake. I can tell you a great many things. Useful information. He's full of shit. Just pop him and blow. You want to know about Tatiana, right? Then you found the right man. Let's talk. Okay. I'll bite. But you better have answers.
No wait. What's happened here? Okay, looks good. I saw some buffering on stream. Oh, it's buffering again. What's happening? Theta. Yo, yo, hey, welcome. Okay. It's weird. What? Looks that Zeta takes the bandwidth, but somehow I get buffering on my hand. Why? Zeta, why? I'm at the generator. The shadows are out! Fucking hell! Fire! Fire at will! Target the head! Over there! Keep shooting! What did you say? Stay alert! Disabling the generator. Shadow cages. <laughs> the guards will be quite busy for the next couple of hours. Not afraid of the dark, are you? Seriously, though. Yeah, of course. Of course. Bucks in this game. That's that's so great. Is this cool box? You cannot do anything.
Marco Slope, the most hated man in the zone. Hm. Okay, hier ist der Ende. Game becomes unplayable. Of course, we are on this point again. Why? Let's try that again. Oh shit. like Rambo. Okay, I'm at the generator. Fucking hell, are you seeing this? It's a Ferris wheel. How the hell is it working? Look out! What the hell was that? Contact the camp, do it now! They must have noticed, right? Better make sure. Just follow the damn protocol. CO, this is Team Beta. CO, the Ferris wheel just uh, came alive, and then... We can see it, Team Beta. Sending reinforcements. Secure the area. CO out. That was quite a sight, Nancy. It was kind of spectacular, I'll give you that. But cutting the power would have been more effective. Okay. No again, this guy. What's all the commotion? Don't even think about reaching for that sidearm, General Kozlov. I'm not interested in talking to you, but I need to find Tachana, and you're in my way. Is that so? Those few words you just said tell me you have no idea what's going on here. Come on. He's just trying to weasel his way out of it. Kill him now. Don't let him get in your head. I'm sorry, General. I'm not that kind of person. But you leave me no choice. Wait. You're making a huge mistake. I can tell you a great many things. Useful information. He's full of shit. Just pop him and blow. You want to know about Tatiana, right? Then you found the right man. Let's talk. Okay, I'll bite, but you better have answers. Did you think I would be impressed? I've seen these things before. 
Don't make your situation any worse than it already is. Move. Uh, what? So, this is what it looks like from the inside. Surprised? I guess you're not all knowing after all. Let's say terrorist hideouts are not my department. But I know everything I need to know. Is this a family meeting? What a pity. I thought we were going to talk man to man, Professor Kaminiuk. What the fuck? Why did you bring this asshole here? You were supposed to punish him for what he did, and then leave his corpse as an example. My poor fellow. I suppose you expect me to acknowledge you and apologize for something I've done. Sadly, I am forced to disappoint you. I have no idea who you are, nor do I care. I don't like this one bit. Let's put an end to this, and fast. You should be careful with that one, Kaminiuk. Women are often far more cruel than men. I've seen her kind in... Well, it hardly matters. What about you, old man? Still chasing ghosts? Did you ever find your mysterious Rat King? Perhaps you should have stayed in the institution. At least they kept you properly fed. Sashko Horobets. I admire your craft, but there's nothing I can do for you. Or your brother. We'll see about that. Are we done with introductions? Let's get to it then. You seem to be the most reasonable of this gang of colorful misfits. I was hoping you and I could have a civilized conversation. I know exactly what you're doing. It isn't particularly clever or original, and it's not going to work. What am I doing? I am a professional who happens to be on the other side of the fence. Just a man trying to do his job. I have a nephew that I very much want to see. So, go ahead and ask your questions. When you're satisfied, I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. Your nephew? Tell me about him. He's ten years old. He's from Magnitogorsk, like his father and me, and he's the smartest kid I know. I don't believe for one moment that you could harm him. It simply isn't your style, Professor. Besides, you don't even know where he is. Do not assume to know me, Koslov. That would be a mistake. Hmm. Okay. I should click into the game. I'm only really interested in one thing. Where is Tatiana? That ghost you're chasing. That pretty dream. I don't know what to tell you. You're the head of security. Am I to believe you're not privy to everything that goes on at the power plant? Professor Kaminiuk, listen. I am here to earn a little extra money so I can retire someplace nice and send my nephew to an Ivy League university. I have zero interest in anything that doesn't directly concern my men and my job. You don't tell me. I swear. I cannot tell you what I do not know, Professor. Semenov is the authority in this area. Talk to him if you want to know more about the experiments or this Tatiana girl. Hmm. Semenov may be the brain, but he isn't responsible for the atrocities in the zone. That's your doing. Hmm. You seem like a smart fellow, Kaminiuk. Why would you buy into this nonsense? What do you mean? Whatever Semenov told you, he is the real puppet master. He has great influence over the board. The board? The big money people in the tailored Italian suits. The people who make money by making money. Semenov convinced the board he's going to transform NAR into a trillion dollar business. To them, he's like an investment banker messiah. Semenov isn't rounding people up and torturing them, filling mass graves with civilian corpses. That's you. Well, naturally, you'll get a distorted view of what's going on when you only hear one side of the story. Uh-huh. What's your side of the story, then? This is a war zone. I am responsible for keeping my men safe and doing my job. 
Some collateral damage is unavoidable in any conflict. But trust me when I say I've already had a belly full of civilian misery. I do my absolute best to keep their suffering to a minimum. Tell me about the experiments. What is Semenov doing in the lab? I wish I could tell you. But as with tracking down trespassers, that is not my department. My task was to ensure Semenov could work undisturbed. You lie. I've seen everything. I've even studied Chernobylite myself. How can you claim to know nothing about it? I know about its applications, yes. I know that it can act as an unlimited energy source, that it can be used in transportation, medicine, and can even be weaponized. But I don't know any details about its implementation. I'm not a scientist, just an old soldier. Yes, I suppose that's true. Look, I'm not a personal friend of Semenov. His findings may be profound, but at what cost? Remember, Do you know, sir, Semenov tell all the gone. experiment that released the shadows into this world. Can you guess how many people I've lost fighting those things? Don't ask me where these creatures came from, because I have no idea. From a nightmare, perhaps. Semenov has a god complex. He believes he can advance the human race, a bold claim, especially in this part of the world, no? We lived in the shadow of people who wanted to turn us simple bread eaters into angels for almost the entire century. But I've been around, I've seen things, so you can understand why I'm skeptical when I hear such claims. Hmm. How do I enter that power plant? You're placing me in a very awkward position. You want me to divulge information that may lead to casualties among my men and the civilian staff. <laughs> You've got a real nerve talking to me about civilian casualties. I can't believe you would try that. Again, what is the password and response for accessing the power plant? Don't be stupid. You and your merry band of trumps will never make it out of the power plant alive. I don't care. Do you know where we are, right now? No. I don't understand it, this place. But let's skip the guessing game, and you just tell me. We are currently in the tunnel between two singularities. It's like a black hole, only smaller. This tunnel is a shortcut through time and space. Marvelous, isn't it? But to use it, you need to know how to enter and how to leave. Ah, I see where this is going. Do you? I don't have to kill you. I can simply leave you here. But don't count on dying anytime soon. Time dilation will ensure that you don't. You will never see your nephew again. But perhaps I will release you to attend his funeral when he's died of old age. I can see that your companion's cruel nature is beginning to rub off on you. Very well. Are you ready to cooperate now? If you lie to me, I will return and it won't go well for you. The call is, we quell the storm, the response, and ride the thunder. Thank you. I'm glad we had this chance to talk. What to do with you now, eh? It's too dangerous to let him live. I believe we already agreed on that. I want to ask him about wrestling fast. He's mine. I want him to experience a slow descent into hell. Fucker! He's just a tool of the Rat King. He told you everything of value already. Do not let this rodent roam free. He can still do great damage to our cause, more even than before. Hmm. I'm not a murderer. I've only ever killed when I had no other choice. You can go. Thank you. I knew you were a reasonable man. An honorable man. What now? You have to leave NAR. Disappear. And never return. Otherwise, you and I will have another conversation. And it won't be a light-hearted chat next time. All I care about is my nephew. I swear that you will never see me again. Three points. Hmm. 
I guess I have to go here. Safe game. Okay. Everyone has food. That's good. Nation. Hello, welcome. That comes here, that comes there. That can I leave in the base. That I can leave. Looks good, looks good. So now Islands in Siberia. Nazino Island? I might have heard something, but... But they don't teach it in school, right? Not the most glorious moment in Soviet history. I wouldn't know anything about that either, but that crazy old baker in Tarakum told me when we were working together on another job. I wasn't at all interested, but he wouldn't shut up about it. So I told him I'd listen as long as he made it quick. Then he told me about these poor bastards. Five thousand of them. Rounded up in cities and shipped the island of Nazino, in Siberia. It was supposed to be a gulag, except there was nothing there. It was absolutely desolate. These guys were supposed to build their own prison. That's horrible. When was this? Not sure. I think Tarakan said the 30s. Anyway, they were given nothing. No tools, no equipment, and only 200 grams of flour each, daily. They ate the flour raw because they didn't know how to start a fire. Most of them were city dwellers. They'd never spent a day in the wilderness. Helpless bastards. What was their crime? Crime? <laughs> they didn't have their identity papers on them when they were picked up. That's it. The secret police had a quarter to fill. Of course, some of them were hard-boiled criminals prepared to do anything to survive. They obeyed only one rule. Kill or be killed. And the food didn't last long. Tarakan said something about a teenage girl tied to a tree. This was documented. She was slaughtered and eaten by the other prisoners who'd gone mad from hunger. Anyway, the old dude Tarakan was really upset by the story. But did I find it shocking? Nah. I may not be educated like you, Professor, but I've got a pretty firm grasp on human nature. It doesn't matter who you are or where you're from. In the end, all that matters is who gets to eat and who gets to die. Very uplifting. 
I admire your optimism, Sashko. Suzo, Suzo, Boyro, hello, welcome. Hey, Sasko, you're experienced, right? About what? I can show you a thing. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. We train that three health points more. Life on the streets taught me that quick reflexes can mean the difference between coming home and coming home in a box. Sometimes it can help you dodge a bullet. I mean, not literally, but you can remove yourself from harm's way. Let's see if I can teach you some new tricks, old dog. First, breathe from the bottom of your belly. Slowly flex that diaphragm. Feel the air filling you from your toes to the top of your head. Now, don't hold it. Just release it. Not too slow but not too fast either. Focus on your breathing and repeat the exercise three or four times. Okay, talk is cheap. I'm gonna fire the rubber bullets at you. You try to anticipate the shot and cover before you get hit. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Three, two, one. Take cover, Igor. Was fast. You're pretty spry for an over the hill pre parastroika scientist. Take cover, Eagle. Ah, that was fast. You're pretty spry for an over the hill pre parastroika scientist. Take cover, Eagle. Ah, that was fast. <laughs> You're pretty spry for an over the hill pre parastroika scientist. Take cover, Eagle. Easy. That was fast. You're pretty spry for an over the hill pre parastroika scientist. Take cover, Igor. Outstanding. You got the reflexes of a teenage gangbanger on Crystal. I take you into my crew. No questions asked. Okay. That was it training. Okay, let's see. Let's hope nobody will adopt me with some you useless I need to tell you something mm. remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village i wasn't entirely honest with you all right i don't know exactly how it works but mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance he has this strange powder it calls it dust but it's secret only a handful of people even know it exists dust why are you telling me about this because i can see you for what you are now and what's that? A forthright, honorable man. Maybe a little awkward in social situations. Anyway, it'll help us in your heist. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. Well, if it works, there must be something to it. I should definitely look into it. You should. Okay, I'll check it out first chance I get. Or well, second chance. Let's see. But now, for now, I will do this mission. That. You do that mission and you do that. Charges? <laughs> I always knew that you had something explosive hidden inside of you, Professor Kimunu. Just be very careful, love. Once you help someone, you can easily become responsible for them.
Okay, Sashko. I'm in position. You should find the place, no problem. It's in a one-way story building on the perimeter of the Muscovi. I think I know where it is. Oh, there, yeah, okay. TB, hello, welcome. Oh, yes. Some radiation. It's going higher. That's not cool. Uh, holy shit. I should leave. Mm. That was not so cool. this radiation but how we can go there? Hmm. maybe I have to walk around Oh shit, it's heavy radiation. Damn it. people walking around here another hour gone three more to go fucking hell hmm
Find him before he gets away. Palakshea, hallo, willkommen. Okay, at least we don't have so much people around. That shocked me. I was thinking... Okay. Detonator. Sashko, I found the plastic box, but it's empty. There are some droppings and... Uh, is it possible rats took your charges? Well, shit, those sneaky bastards must have been really hungry. Now what? Well, no charges means more work for me and also more work for you. I can make the compound from scratch, but that means I'll need the ingredients from somewhere else. But first, we need to take care of the rat problem. What do you mean? You got the detonator? Press the button. Why would I do that? To blow these bastards to Rat Kingdom come. I don't want them running around with my charges. Slow down. You have no idea where those explosive rats of yours are. They could be under the floor or in the walls. I don't harbor any secret love for rats, believe me, but this is just stupid. All right, time to meet the great rat catcher in the sky, my furry little friends. Too bad Tarakan isn't here to see this. Thing. Shit. You actually pressed the button? <laughs> I'm impressed. Nothing happened. Of course, nothing happened, Goofus. It's a dummy. But well, right? Igor Kimenik, professor, lover, pyromaniac. This was another of your idiot stunts? You know, I... I know I should be surprised, but... Actually, I'm not. It's not a real detonator. It's just a prop. I was just messing with you, Professor. Trust me, I wouldn't risk a life of my brave companion like that. But you still need to go to find my other stash and bring me the components I need. It's right next to the connector. Mm hmm. Where? This way, okay. Try right out and search the area. Keep an eye out for the explosives. Sashko, I found the building. 
but it's crawling with NAR soldiers. Looks like they know about the stash. Any ideas? Fuckers, they must have spotted me earlier. A little heads up would be appreciated next time. Hey, you got this man. You're better at this shit than you give yourself credit for. Thanks, but... You're breaking up. I'm losing signal. Igor, signal! Sashko? Sashko? Damn it! What? Okay, we cannot go here. Mm -hmm. Here's the target. Oh. Sashko, I found your components. Glad to hear it. For a moment there, I thought I might lose my favorite partner in crime. Was that supposed to be humor, Sashko? Not bad for a first try. Yevgeny. You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? What about this, uh, box of loot? That'll be one food ration. Give me loot sure box. Thing. There you go. It's just for you. I better be going now. Bradfa forever, Igor. Bradfa forever.
Uh, what? That's cheating. Oh, you go down. again a little bit and the rest I guess we have to go yeah I guess we have to go Because the storm is coming closer and closer. Yeah, the freaking dolls. I hate the dolls. Away. I guess we are done here. Main mission. Sasko, you know the difference between dynamite and nitroglycerin? I need you to be more stable, like dynamite, and less like nitroglycerin, which will just blow a person to hell for no reason. You want to make an omelette? You gotta crack a few skulls, am I right? If you know so much about eggs, how about helping out with the cooking? Nah, that's your department. I'll stick to what I'm good at blowing shit up. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Zero point five, Mikael. That was useless. Cells. For the armor. Complete full. Cool. 
Then we shred some stuff. Red, all this crap. Mm. Everything is full. That's crazy. Fool, fool, fool. Der Wasser disconnect. My dashboard is saying I have session 57 minutes. My OBS saying 2 hours and 5 minutes. So there was a disconnect. What you are doing oh, yeah. here? I, I have something to tell you, Igor. What's wrong, Olga? You don't seem like yourself today. I'm totally fine. I just... I've been having these terrible headaches lately, but never mind that. I've been reconsidering our arrangement, and I've decided I need to go. What do you mean? Go? Go where? Don't play dumb, Igor. It doesn't go with your big brain. I'm leaving. I joined you thinking you represented the change this place needs for us, for the zone, for the Samo shells. Hmm. Look, I admit I've been preoccupied recently, but I can do better. You've had plenty of opportunities, but you almost never used them. I tried to reason with you. I pleaded with you. I tried to get you to see things my way. I hoped you would help me, even if we don't agree on every detail. Friends do that for each other, you know. But I am your friend, Olga, and I'm trying. What do you want from me? I don't want anything from you anymore, Igor. That ship has sailed. Sailed? 
Right. Can't you see I'm your best chance? I thought so too, but something happened recently. What something? What's going on with you, Olga? Shut the fuck up. Nothing's wrong with me, Kimanook. Come on, Olga. We've been through so much together. Are you going to throw it all away because of some misunderstanding? You still don't get it, obviously. You promised to help me and instead you shit on me and my needs. My people's needs are critical. They're facing new dangers every day. The lurkers, NAR. They need my help at this very moment, not whenever you get around to it. I lost all my hope, Kimanook. You took from me the only thing that kept me going. But thankfully, she found me. She found me when I needed her most. I have no idea who you're talking about, but I really do want to help you and your people. And I will. Just trust me. Going to ask you a question, and I need an honest reply. Can you do that, Igor? If you had to choose between Tatiana and the others, what would you do? What kind of question is that? It's not that simple. She... I will make it super simple for you. Don't think, just answer. If you insist on putting it that way, of course I'd choose Tatiana. Every time. I knew it. I've got my answer. Olga, please, I don't understand what you're saying. I'm not under any obligation to save the world. No, you're definitely not. You're just a selfish guy who passed up the chance to help others, people who needed him. You failed me, and you failed the sandwich house. You pass one you mission and her. she, she you starts don't know it yet. drama. I wish I'd never met you, Igor Kimanuk. Perhaps we'll see each other again, perhaps not. Yeah, yeah, start drama, leave me. Everyone else is fine when I don't do immediately the mission. She starts the drama. So I guess minus one. Hey there, old timer. I need you to do something for me. I'm all ears. You know I came here to Chernobyl looking for someone. You mentioned a brother. Yeah, Ruslan. We grew up together in Moscow. We had to fend for ourselves from an early age. So you were, like, gangbangers? The proper term is thieves in law, but you don't need to know that. So why is Ruslan even here? It's a long story, but our father was a cop. Like a lot of cops, he was a real piece of shit. He beat our mother every time he got drunk, which was always. But I'll never forget the last time. He took a swing in my head with a lid pipe, but this time it didn't connect. I wasn't a helpless little shit anymore, and neither was Ruslan. We grabbed the old man and threw him down the well behind the old house. He was just too much of a bastard to die, though. Only broke his legs. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. You threw your own father down a well. I guess he must have deserved it. Okay. What's my role in all this? My brother Ruslan did something he shouldn't do. Quite After dumb. this something he Hello, came in died on in his own. I've been trying to track him down for months. Damn. What did he do that would make him hide in a place like this? That's not important right now. Anyway, my best guess is that he was caught by NAR. I need to meet up with him and ask him some questions. This is very important to me. Search the NAR Mobile Command Center near the old hospital on Pripyat Port. There are some officer uniforms that will help Tanya, you infiltrate the power hello. plant. Welcome in. While you're at it, I want you to look up some info on my brother. Anything you can find on Ruslan Horobets. Of course. I knew I could count on you, partner. Stay in touch, just in case. Radio me if you need help. I will. And I guess when I do, don't do your mission immediately, you also bitching around and saying, oh, bye, you don't do anything for me. I guess.
You promised your friends something, and now you need to follow through. Sashko is like a live grenade right now. One wrong move, and he'll explode. Be careful. Yeah, who knows? Can start great giveaway in the meantime. Ninety meters. Um, that's not cool here. Why? What the? Why I have so heavy radiation here? I'm at the outpost. A lot of firepower here. Stay low. I could try my luck. See if I can take them out. You got bows. I'll give you that. But no. Lure them away from the outpost somehow. Use the field radio. I assume Olivier taught you how to fool these robots. Okay, you got a plan. Get to it. Living on the streets of Moscow teaches you how to think on your feet, huh? I like it.
Ok, tá bom. I'm at the radio station. Good stuff. You know what to do next. Help, help! We're under attack! Monsters! God! It just tore Misha to pieces! Ah! Is this Vova? Sasha? Use the fucking call signs, you moron, and identify yourself! It's me, Vova! Sorry, forgot the call sign! I'm taking Misha, and we're going after him right now! After who? Vova? Misha? I don't know how much longer I can deal with these idiots. Wait for reinforcements. I repeat, remain at your post. Do not take action. Release the dogs of war. I mean, send everyone you've got. This was totally awful. I had to believe it was the truth. Excellent. Yeah. Now move. Last thing you want is for them to catch up to you and your bullshit. Vincent Cool, the money time. I see two trucks. One of them's loaded with explosives, maybe. That's all. Go down there and take a closer look carefully. <gasps> Seems they caught someone who enlisted under false name. They found out his real identity, Ruslan, and that he was wanted for double homicide in Moscow. Oh my God, Sashko, I'm sorry. They... I think they killed him in order to deny any involvement. So, he's dead. I don't get to ask my questions then. What the hell is so important about these questions? This is your brother. Yeah, seen as double homicide. It was our parents. I think Ruslan might have been involved in their deaths. What are you saying? You think Ruslan killed your parents? I have no idea what happened. I wanted to find out from him directly. Now I never will. Hmm. Come on. You know your brother better than that. You and him saved your mum from your abusive asshole of a father. Do you honestly think he would harm her? Unintentionally, no, but maybe there was an accident, crossfire. I know you didn't get what you wanted, but you should trust in your memory of Ruslan. I'll see you back at the base. You're out of your goddamn mind if you think you're going back now. Whatever he did or didn't do, Ruslan is still my brother. I need you to avenge him. What? You should think things through first. Get some peace of mind. I don't want peace of mind. I want a piece of them. Mind the place and send those NAL fuckers back to hell. Hmm. I can't just kill them in cold blood. They don't deserve to die like that. Not all of them. No, not everyone deserves to die, but they all do, nonetheless. Are you going to do it or not? No, I won't. Pathetic. 
pathetic. I see now that bringing you along was a mistake. Then I'll have to do it myself. At least then I know it will get done. What's that? What? Good. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Freaking stuff here. <laughs> Ask who's guess at the right number. E. So the mission's getting weird and weird more and more. Killed everyone. Was this mission just now? I got this already. But I guess this mission here is done. No more targets. Let's go back.
We had a deal. You broke it. Why? I'm sorry. It just didn't feel right. I'm not a murderer. You think this is about you now? Pathetic. Back home, I'm caught a crook, a gangbanger, an outlaw. But I don't let my people down. At least I can say that. Yeah, yeah. At least we have enough food. Maybe a little bit ammunition. Okay. We learn everything. The fuck you want? Mikkel, you've been around. Have some gathering and. Oh, I need four points for that. Actually, I can't do it right this minute. So, what does it do, Mousy? What does what do? Your magical thingy. Your fancy device. Orana? Ariadna. It uses low-level radiation measurements to reconstruct past events. Something like... Radiocarbon dating. Well, you surprised me, Tarakan. How do you know about these things? I don't know, Mousy. They sometimes come to me, unconnected memories and bits of knowledge. The Rat King must be blocking them somehow. Okay. You're not wrong. It's like carbon dating, but a lot more advanced and in 3D. You see, every object is a dosimeter in a way, absorbing different types of radiation every millisecond. Ionizing radiation of thorium, potassium, uranium, and even cosmic rays. When it does, it creates a radioactive echo in time and space. With enough data, this echo can be traced and recreated using the fractal VR simulator. Does this mean you can see the past, Mousy? Is that how you hope to find out the truth about Tatiana and yourself? Mm -hmm. That's the idea, yes. A wise mouse once said, if you want to discover the truth, you need to ask yourself, what is truth? What you're looking for may not be what you find, Mousy. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Nothing is more important to me than Tatiana. <laughs> Don't be so sure, Mousy. Can we train something? Hey there, Tarakan. I was... But of course, I can. Hmm. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Let's learn that. As you've already noticed, Mousy, resources are scarce in the zone. It is essential to conserve materials when crafting. You see, Mousy, any damn fool can make soup. Throw a bunch of shit in a pan, add water, turn on the heat, and hope for the best. But the <laughs> secret lies in learning the correct proportion of ingredients, and not just in meals. This applies to crafting in general. I'll show you how it's done. But first, you'll need to find two flammable and one mechanical ingredients. I hid them nearby, so keep your little mouse eyes open. We don't have all day, Mousy. Hurry it up. Clearly the light. 
sight of the rat catcher shines upon you. I'll show you how to craft ammo from scrap without wasting too many resources. Is it dangerous? Sure, but only if you have no clue what you're doing. Please don't try this without your parents' supervision. <laughs> Come here and use the electric lathe. I'll show you how it's done. Knowledge is everything. You need to understand what every ingredient does in order to get the most use out of your material. Quit stalling, now. Well done. Oh, you're a difficult student in spite of all your PhDs. So cool. But I'll turn you into a survivalist mousy yet. Okay. Let's see what the next mission says. Nobody wants stuff. Can we do the heist? Let's try it. Everyone, out. it's time to hit the power plant. We all know it's not going to be easy. We tried before, and not everyone made it. But this time we're smarter and better prepared. I know we can do this. We have to do this. It's the only way we can find Tachana and end NAR. Mousy, you're talking about striking at the heart of the Rat King. But have you learned everything possible about his plans? I have evidence that NAR was conducting Chernobylite experiments back in the 90s. Tachana and her baby were two of their subjects. With the rate at which their technology is progressing, soon, nothing will be able to stop them. We must act now. What about that black mask-wearing motherfucker? Have you identified him? His name is Boris Glukov. He, Tatiana, yeah. and I were close friends until he betrayed us. He helped the KGB gather evidence against Tatiana, then continued to work for NAR after my accident. He experimented on himself with Chernobylite and ended up with great power. He's strong, one of the strongest, but we can beat him, together. I like the pep talk, Professor. I think you even gave me a bit of a job. But do we have the right tools for the job? Yes, we do. We've got everything we need to infiltrate the power plant. This is much bigger than anything any of us has done before. If you want to back out, this is your chance. One organization holding this much power is against everything I believe in. And besides, this is personal for me. Count me in. You know how I feel. The Red King must be stopped at all costs, Mousy. I'm in. I started out doing this for a paycheck. But I'm going to end it for my brother in arms. For Anton. In Let's do this. You think I'm gonna back out now and miss the best part? Fuck no. I'm with you, Igor. I appreciate your trust. We can't count on the element of surprise, but we know enough about NAR's vulnerabilities to make this work. Time and again, NAR has shown they would rather capture than kill me. We can use this to our advantage. We'll dress somebody up as an NAR officer, escorting a prisoner. Me. That's our ticket inside. We have two NAR uniforms, both male. Any takers? I'll do it. I have no problem posing as an NAR officer. My hand is still giving me trouble, but I can deal with it. You should take someone who can keep his cool when things go sideways, as they inevitably do. Trust me on that. You're not seriously thinking about going without me? I'm a blast at parties. Ask anyone! Uh, Olivier is professional. All right, we still have one more uniform. Any takers?
NAR must have upgraded its digital defense perimeter and surveillance system by now. A skillful hacker should be able to at least temporarily disable them. I'm your man, Mousy. The great rat catcher has blessed me with a knack for that kind of thing. Electronics, surveillance, computers. There's no one better than me. I need someone to cover our asses in case we end up in the shit. Someone who can take down a target from a distance, or at least create a diversion. Looks like we've got no ranged support. No plan B then. Last but not least, a spy. I want someone to monitor NAR activities and keep us informed about their moves. I've been watching these assholes fight the reflection for years. I know how they think. I'm your guy. Does everyone know what to do? Last chance to reconsider. Let's go. This is it, my love. The last stretch. You've been through so much for me. Make sure you're ready, because it will take everything you have. Your wits, your strength, your plan, your companion's loyalty, everything. Good luck, my love. Loading, loading. This is it. Today's the day. Whatever happens. Everything sorted, guys. Can we start our prisoner escort on? I'm ready. Though my hand still hurts like hell. If the uniform doesn't get us in, we have one more ace up our sleeve. Their friend enemy password. They say, we quell the storm. And we reply, and ride the thunder. Remember it. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check everything is ready. How's my techie? Have you logged into their system? I'm in, Mousy. What do you need me to do? I will load their systems, bypass security. You ask and I'll do it. But don't be rash. Once we get started, it's only a matter of time before they kick me out again. Spy check. How are my eyes and ears? Eyes are bright and my ears are wide open. I got the plans and codes up and I can hear those boring fuckers chatter like they were sitting in my lap. No worries, Igor. With me on your side, this will be like walking to the grocery store. There are a few sentries outside the gate. That's obstacle number one. Better use the side passage for now. You can always kill them on your way out. <laughs> Don't forget that you're a prisoner, Igor. Downcast, hopeless. Use this to our advantage. Okay, showtime. This better work. So far, so good. But it's getting harder now. NAR's upgraded some of the old security features. Let's see. Security checkpoint. What used to be a radiation detector is now a biometric scanner. Clever. I already found the right database. I'll upload your biometric data and you can walk right through. 
those NAR security systems can be broken by someone with enough know-how. Those IT wankers probably spent their upgrade budget on porn hub premium content. Once those gates read my <laughs> biometrics, my cover will be blown. We need to convince them somehow that we're friendlies. Tarakan, I like your thinking. One moment. Yes, done and done. Those gates won't be a problem, Mercy. Time to move. With a little luck, they won't notice us. Easy. The entrance should be very close. It's a large metal door to the tech access corridor. Nothing I can't handle. Remember the charges I prepared for breaching security doors? Powerful, but quiet. Like sticking a curling iron into a pound of butter. Or maybe you want to save them for later. Keep your hand down, Igor. There's a fucking sniper on the building above you. Stop yelling. How do you know? Picked it up on the radio. They haven't made you yet, but if you trigger the alarm, they'll come down on you like a swarm of Kajushas. Damn. If I force the lock, it'll trigger the alarm. This will be tough. I can try to remotely unlock the door without tripping the alarm, but no guarantees. You'll have to move very quickly, Mousy. The lock is wired to the alarm system, but Sashko's charges will destroy both the lock and the trigger mechanism. I should be fine. Is armed. Stay back. What now? What? Another life lost because of you. What happened to your grand plans? Your what? companion is about to meet his end in this reality. You should figure out what led to this so you can plan accordingly next time. What? What's happening? This had to happen, Igor. You need to be saved. We all need to be saved. Did you just... There's no other way. She asked me to save you from the worst fate imaginable. Have you lost your goddamn mind? You're not making any sense. You can run, Igor, but you cannot hide from this. What the fuck? The electronics are sizzling as if they're going to explode. That's to be expected, Mousy. The power plant's electrical system is antiquated, falling apart. We should find a way to short-circuit the power. If you're feeling tempted to go for a swim, don't. The water is electrified. One wrong step and it's bye-bye, Igor. I have access to the circuit board. Perhaps I can cut power to the nearest corridor. Have you been listening, Mousy? I can turn off the entire sector remotely, no problem. I'll only leave the light on at your location. Okay, the power's off. Here, at least. Don't run this fast. I cannot follow you properly. Here? I guess so. Hmm. 
Hey, are you okay? Sashko? Let your friend get fried by the electricity. Your negligence cost his death. You're a smart man, Igor. Why would you let this happen? You should have prepared for it. The what? Sashko, can you hear me? Say something! You cannot hesitate, Mousy. We will mourn the fallen when this is all over. Igor, you sleepyhead. What is it, Igor? You're still half asleep. Wake up. A blink of an eye takes 300 milliseconds. And it can change everything. Tatiana, my love. You've been gone for so long. Mm -hmm. Everything I did has led me up to this moment. Yes. I'm a man of science. I'm not counting on miracles. I guess this part is not ready yet. I will be meticulous. I will be thorough. I won't put my guard down. I will find allies. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I will survive day after day. I will travel beyond space and time if need be. All I need is a plan for everything to change. All it takes is a blink of an eye. I'm coming for you, Tatiana. No matter what. I guess the rest of the game is not ready. Yeah, the rest of the game is not ready. You can change the things, yeah. Change the timeline. You met with Professor Semenov, your old mentor, in the Kopachi Kindergarten. He tried to convince you that he's only a lesser scientist with the NAR, and that he came to Kopachi to find some old documents. You had a hard time believing him. Hmm. Gorgi told you where to find the plants for the power plant but the NAR got wind of it and was lying in the wait. You surrendered to their forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mikhail asked you to save his wounded business partner and you managed to do it. He is now alive. You successfully brought the food back, but weren't sure whether you should tell Olga about Kostya or not. You asked her to join you, and Olga agreed.
You found Galib. You released him. Gloop. These events have not happened yet as the future is not predetermined. Come back later, Igor. Yeah, that, that is maybe not done. Be safe here and end this game because 